Hi everyone, Witch Hazel here with our tarot reading for this week. That's Monday the 15th of December, checking my calendar, right the way through to Yule, Sunday the 21st. And this week I was actually drawn between two decks. I had one deck all picked out, I knew which it was going to be, the Tildwick Tarot, and then the Wildwood Tarot just called to me part way through shuffling, so I've drawn both. <laughs> Not gonna lie, drawn both. The Tildwick Tarot gave me all minors. The Four of Swords, Five of Staves and Ace of Staves. What this says is that our dreams right now seem so far away. They're almost intangible, they're so distant and that's paralysing us. We can't see how to make them happen. We can't take that first baby step. The Five of Staves is very much about competition. In this case, I'm actually thinking we're in competition with ourselves though. We're, and tying in with that Four of Swords, it seems too big a challenge, we're not sure we're up to it. This card is a reminder that we are, and our biggest competitor is our own fear. Ace of Staves reassures us, new beginnings, new opportunities. I'm quite right that this card starts to crop up it's cropped up in a lot of my readings with clients right now. We're coming to the end of the year. Yule is coming. The new sun god is about to be reborn if you're a witch like myself. These are elements that are all in there. New beginnings, rebirth. So look at your fears. Face them and figure out just that first teeny tiny step. Why am I being so optimistic about this? Because the Wild Wood Tarot has given me the pole star. That guiding light that keeps us on the straight and true. It keeps us authentic on the right path. It will always lead us out if we listen to it, if we listen to our own authenticity, our intention and our intuition. The blasted oak also came up. Now in more traditional decks, this would be the tower. The key with this card is that for many of us, this time of year is quite challenging. What the Blasted Oak reminds us is that that energy that comes from out of the blue strips away our illusions. It actually frees us. It might feel disastrous, but it frees us to follow our true path, see what's really important and focus on those things. So a mixed deck reading this week. If you have any questions about my services or to book a reading, you can go to lifescaperadio.com forward slash Suzanne. Don't forget, though, actually to book a reading right now until the end of the year. Go to lifescaperadio.com forward slash holiday. You can get a half price reading with me. Until next week, everybody. Blessed be and have a wonderful Yule.